Um, Secretary Clinton, how much does your tax plan cost? Well, we'd be looking at around one trillion over the course of the next ten years. Don't worry, it sounds a lot worse than it actually is. Because most of the burden would be on the wealthiest Americans. An unmarried tax-paying individual without children earning a salary of 30000 would likely pay less than $50 more per year than they presently do. Of course, that's just an estimate. Fair enough. Uh, Senator Sanders, how much does your tax plan cost? Around $15 trillion over the course of the next ten years. Like Secretary Clinton's plan, the rich would take the brunt of it. However, an unmarried tax-paying individual without children earning a salary of 30000 would likely pay well over $3,000 more per year than they presently do. Of course, that's just an estimate. Yikes! People earning a salary of 30000 have often had enough difficulty paying their bills as it is, even the ones that aren't paying off medical and student loan debt. Aren't you concerned that were you to win the nomination that the primary voters and caucus goers who supported you, not the diehard feel the burners, mind you, but the folks who merely chose you as an alternative to Secretary Clinton without knowing the specifics of your tax plan, might drop you for a Republican candidate or merely abstain from voting were they to learn about this? And they'd learn about this pretty quickly once the GOP would start attacking. I mean, this could easily turn into Reagan versus Mondale 2.0 come the general election if you're not careful. I'd like to think that every single American would be willing to do what it takes to do what's healthy for them and also beneficial for their fellow Americans. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Bernie, baby, sweetie, if that were the case, McDonald's and Walmart would have gone out of business long ago. Sure, there are many, many Americans who are idealists, but let's face it, sometimes it's a matter of being able to afford idealism. Pragmatically speaking, a lot of Americans just wouldn't find the idea of your tax plan making a grab for their wallets feasible on a personal financial level. Even with the theoretical benefits that might result. Get a point! Right? That's what we were all thinking, right? <laughs> I've had just about enough of you, sir.